listening to Catholic Sprouts, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. Today is Thursday, June 15th, 2023. Today is also the feast day of a French saint from the 1500s, Saint Germain. St. Germain had a very sad life. She was a young girl, and when she was born, unfortunately, she had a hunched back, she had a very not beautiful face, and she had a deformed arm. And because of this, her father and her stepmother treated her very poorly. She was not allowed to sleep in the house. Instead, she slept outside or in the barn. They barely fed her, and they abused her. And yet St. Germain loved Jesus. Countless miracles were recounted by the village of the ways that God really watched after her and protected her when her family treated her so poorly. She was a young shepherd girl, and every day she would go to Mass, and as she left, she would ask her guardian angel to guard her sheep. And when she came back, even though wolves prowled nearby, her sheep were safe. There also are countless stories of food multiplying and of Jesus saving her. Unfortunately, she died when she was a very young girl. But shortly after her death, miracles began to occur around her body and through her intercession. And so her body was placed within a small French church. And it lay there for many years and was incorrupt, meaning usually a body begins to decay after death, but her body remained beautiful and fresh. Eventually, the church was remodeled and her body was put beneath the floorboards. And then a terrible thing happened in France called the French Revolution, where many churches were shut down. Then after that ended, the church was being remodeled and they opened up the floorboards and they discovered her body there that had been there for hundreds of years. In fact, her body is still around today and is still incorrupt. Even though she died over 400 years ago and most bodies would be reduced to dust by now, she looks as beautiful and as fresh as the day that she was alive. And so we pray St. Germain, Pray for us and please pray for all children in this world that do not receive the love that they should. This week on the Catholic Sprouts podcast, we are talking about the sacred heart of Jesus. Before we return to that, please join me in praying the Come Holy Spirit prayer. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of your Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and ever enjoy his consolations. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. So we've already talked about the sacred heart that is meek and humble and how within Jesus's heart, human and divine love are united. The other thing that you will see when you look at an image of the sacred heart of Jesus is all the ways that Jesus suffers. His heart is encircled with a crown of thorns. It is also wounded. Sometimes there's even a spear included in the sacred heart image that is stabbing the heart of Jesus and from which, from that wound, water and blood are dripping out. So Jesus's heart is suffering. Now, why do we see the image of Jesus's heart suffering? Well, Jesus came into this world to love us. And instead of receiving his love, many people rejected him. They also crucified him and he died. And that didn't just happen then. Jesus is still present here on this earth, offering us his love, here to be our friend, our guide, our companion. And he is here all the time waiting for us in the tabernacle. He has taken on the form of ordinary bread so we wouldn't be scared, so that we could approach him. And he is there waiting for us. And yet, for the most part, 
Jesus in the Eucharist is rejected as well. We don't make time to go be with Jesus. We don't treat him with the proper reverence when we are in his presence. And all of these things continue to wound Jesus. And those wounds are shown on the sacred heart. Regardless, Jesus refuses to stop loving us, even though he knows that he will be wounded, that his love will not be received. And so my challenge for you once again is to find an image of the sacred heart of Jesus and to look at those wounds. Now, we all need to have personal time looking at this and really wonder in which way, in what I am doing or what I am failing to do, how am I wounding Jesus? How am I not treating him as I should, as a God who loves me? who knows what is best for me? How can I do better? And how can I more fully comfort his most sacred and suffering heart? That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow. But until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God created you to be. Thank you so much for joining us this week on the Catholic Sprouts podcast as we discuss the sacred heart of Jesus. A big congratulations to all of the families out there that will be making this consecration to Jesus and his sacred heart on the feast this coming Friday. If you're just hearing about this for the first time, we do have a 33-day preparation for consecration to Jesus and his sacred heart. We have copies left in a digital copy as well. It is a good time, any time, to make this consecration. So if you would like to do that, please check the notes for this podcast episode. Get your copy, start preparing, and give your family to Jesus and his heart. This podcast is part of the Spoke Street Network. For more great podcasts, visit Spokestreet.com.